All right, now for the two triangle problem. So let's first begin by drawing out our picture. We have an airplane in the air. Please apologize for the absolute terrible uh, airplane picture that you're going to get here. Uh, it's observed by two guys on the ground. Here are the two guys on the ground. Now you have your triangle. <clears throat> the men are standing 100 feet apart, it says, and their angles of elevation in some order are 22 degrees and 31 degrees. So with that, I'm going to now name my triangle. I'm just going to call it A, B, and I'll call the plane C just to make it uh, easy. We want to know how high the plane is in the air. So we want to know this value right here, that height. Well, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go and look at the big triangle first. Look at the triangle as a whole. I know two of the angles, 22 and 31. That means I can find the third angle. Well, if these add to 53, that means that this should be uh, 127 degrees for that top part. And that's important because now I can do that sine of angle C with its uh, angle side pair, its side being 100. Now, what we need to do in this problem, we are going to find either side A or side B. It does not matter which one, uh, and it will work out the same either way. But I'm going to find, uh, I'll say let's find side A. So angle A, cross mit, is 22 degrees. So when I cross multiply, A sine 127 degrees, 127 degrees equals 100 sine of 22. So when I divide both sides by 100, or sine of 127, I will get comes out as uh, 46 point, we'll just go one decimal right now, 46.9. So what happens after I do that, now that I know this here is uh, 46.9, what I can do is I can say, well, hey, look, I now have a right triangle that I can deal with. And in this right triangle, I have 31 degrees. I have the side opposite of it is H, that's what we're trying to find. And the hypotenuse we just found was 46.9. Well, what trig function deals with opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So at the end of law of sines, you're doing a right triangle with sine. So h is high, so you multiply. So 46.9 times sine of 31 degrees gives you an answer here of 24. Point, it'll round up to 24.2. And that will be the, how high the uh, plane is off the ground. So very, very low flying plane here uh, at just 24 feet off the ground. Okay, that's how you do it. If you had found B first, you would have done the exact same uh, steps in the process uh, to solve the problem. Now, that's just with one part of it. That's just if the two guys are on opposite sides of the airplane. We need to draw again if they are on the same side of the airplane. So here's how that's going to work. Uh, here again is my terrible drawing of a plane. And I'm going to say now both of our people are standing on the same side of it. So that means that you're going your line of sight down like this. We still have the people are 100 feet apart. And we're still looking for the height. The height making this right triangle. So what we have here is that we basically have this extra space that we do not have accounted for. We still know uh, a couple of angles here, which is going to be important, 22 and 31 degrees. Now where they go actually is going to be very important in this problem. The 22 degrees, the further you go away, the smaller angle you're going to be. So the 22 degrees has to be this right here. And the 31 degrees has to be this part right here. Okay. If you uh, flip-flop those, you'll get later on a triangle that can't possibly occur. And we'll see that in a second, how that happens. We're going to look at uh, this triangle I'm going to outline right now in blue. And that's going to change it into yellow again, just to make it match the last problem. This is the triangle that we're looking at. We know the one angle of, of 22. In the last problem, we had 22 and 31 being angles in the triangle. Not quite the case with this problem because 31 degrees is outside of the triangle. The way that you get the value inside of the triangle, well, they make a straight line. So they have to add the 180. So this angle right here has to be 129 degrees. Because 129 
plus 31 definitely does not equal. That should be 149. That makes a little more sense. 149 degrees. Let's see if I can clean that up. Right here, 149 degrees. So now with that, now I have two triangles. Or I'm sorry, two angles in the triangle. 149 and 22. That adds to 171. That means this angle up top is 9 degrees. Now I have all three angles in my triangle, which means I can continue to solve. I can now use my law of sines. I'm going to do... Uh, just to have it named the same, it was A, B, and C. I have both angle C and side C. So sine of 9 degrees over side C is 100 equals, and same thing, we're going to have to find either side A up here or side B over here, and it doesn't matter which. I'm going to say, uh, just because we did A last time, let's do B this time just to see how it works. I'll use uh, side B, its angle was 22 degrees. Okay, so we have B sine of 9 degrees when we cross multiply equals 100 sine of 22 degrees. So much like we did before, 100 sine of 22 divided by uh, sine of 9. B equals 239.5. So that's this value right here, B equaling 239.5. And just like last problem, what we can now do is we're going to look at a new triangle that we just created. I'm going to outline it in orange. We now know this triangle right here. I can use, because it's a right triangle, so Katoa. My angle is 31 degrees. I have the opposite value, which again is H. The hypotenuse is 239.5, so Katoa. This is sine, sine of 31. So H will equal 239.5 times sine of 31. So when you do that, you get an answer for a height of 123.3 feet in the air. Okay, so two triangle setups, both using law of signs and both ending with Sokotoa. We'll have more examples coming your way.